Welcome to Voice Bootcamp, a global name in unified communication. In CCNA Voice Workbook, Mini Lab 1 focuses on infrastructure design. This is where we will learn how to configure VLAN, network time protocol, as well as DHCP servers. Now let's take a look at the network diagram first. This is the network diagram that we're going to configure. So here I have three locations. I have the Toronto location, San Francisco, and UK. Each location have their own routers, as you, as you can see right there, Toronto, SFO, and UK. Toronto and San Francisco at this moment is connected to the same switch and they are connected to two different set of ports. Where San Francisco, UK is connected to 3560. So our job is right now is to configure uh, these three routers and switches to ensure that these IP phones that we have are able to communicate with the network. So we will configure the VLAN, we will configure the NTP and DHCP servers. So the first task in section in uh, Mini Lab One is to configure VLAN according to the table uh, which is provided into the classroom or yellow page. So I will log into my uh, Cat One switch. So this is where the switch that is being shared between Toronto and SFO. So first thing I type show CDP neighbor. The show CDP neighbor will tell me all the devices that are connected to my uh, system. So some of them will be uh, um, will not be listed yet. And as you, as you can see, I have port. Some of these ports are um, up one, three, and four. and then I have port 13, 14 and 15 also up so, so right now my goal is to configure those ports that are up with the necessary VLAN and configuration so the first three sets I'm going to put which is for Toronto will go into a particular VLAN while the second um, the next three sets 13, 14 and 15 will go into different VLAN so I will start with creating a VLAN first on the switch So I'll create uh, data and voice VLAN. So if I type show VLAN, at this stage you will see Uh, you will see that four VLANs has been created but nothing has been assigned yet next I will uh, assign this VLAN to the right port so what I'll do is assign first port I'll make this trunk because it's a router port must be trunk the native VLAN is in this case set to the data VLAN although the router port does not need it but I just simply put that in so this is the configuration of my first port so what I'll do is just simply cut and paste to other two ports port 3 other 2 I think was down 3 and 4 Okay, so my first set is done. I will slightly change this config for the San Francisco. And these settings will go to San Francisco port, which is port number 13, 14, and 15. Okay, to show you configuration. So this is a configuration for Toronto and this is the configuration for San Francisco. So if I type show CDP neighbor, 
after a while you'll see the Toronto router as well as San Francisco router. In earlier, in the beginning stage when I did the show CDP neighbor, if you took a snapshot you'll realize that these two devices were not listed at that moment. Alright, so both San Francisco and Toronto is done. The UK, I will go to R5CAT2. Create the VLAN. UK is a 3560, so I can create the VLAN from global config mode. Oops, wrong name. Uh, VLAN 205 should be data. Okay, so now if I type show CDP neighbor, those are the three ports that I have to configure. So I'll say in UK you can use a range command due to the iOS version. Switch port mode trunk encapsulation dot one Q trunk native VLAN is two zero five voice VLAN is 105. So if I type the command show run, this is the command for uh, the configuration that is configured on those port. Alright, so the VLAN part is taken care of. The next configuration is to def uh, configure the NTP on each error uh, on the router side mostly. So I will first make sure my NTP address is pingable. As you can see, it is pingable. If I type show NTP status, it's already synchronized, so it's part of the default config. So I'll take a look at the SFO. Synchronize. Alright, so all these routers have the default configuration for the NTP, so I'll show you the config that you need for NTP configurations. This is the configuration that you need for NTP server. And, of course, you need to define your time zone. Make sure you do that as well. The last command is to configure the Toronto router to act as DHCP both for Toronto and SFO. So I will configure DHCP here. First I'll exclude the address. 